Okay, hi, in this video we are about to see the finding C by E ratio and packing factor for HCP. First let us consider a HCP structure which consists of an uh, atom in this manner, then surrounded by six atoms. Now, connecting all centers of the atoms leads to a yeah, hexagonal post but excellent shape. Well, so this is a hexagonal post back structure and in that say ceiling or floor level consists of such uh, atoms. Now considering the same structure in a side view, say this is the top view of the atoms and side view may be drawn in this manner. Say the side view bottom surface is formed here. Now the center of atom is here, say O, and this uh, A, and this is B. Now connecting all these points leads to A, B, O. The same side view, this is the side view, this is the top view. Point O is here, and point A is here, and point uh, B is here. Okay, now creating a normal from the point A towards this uh, BO line and similarly in another normal from O to AB. So these uh, normal grounds are A, A dash and say O, O dash. Now these uh, points A, B, O and uh, other things are separately drawn here. Say this is A and this is B and this is O. This is A A dash and this is O O dash. And this happens to be an equilateral triangle and the angle is 60 degrees in between this. And here, here it is 30 degrees. And uh, in this case, cos 30 degrees or cos 30 cos theta cos 30 degrees is equal to root 3 by 2 from the figure this, it is the right angle triangle A, A dash B so that happens to be the right angle triangle A, A dash and B so cos theta adjacent side so here is 30 degrees so adjacent side is A, A dash divided by hypotenuse side it is A, B the AB here, same distance uh, is here you could find AB is a 2R. See, I am marking it here, here it is 2R. This is a 1R, another radius here, 2R. So, it is equal to the lattice constant A. So, 2R is equal to A. R is the atomic radius, A is lattice constant. So, R is equal to A by 2. Say this is the uh, equation small a. R is equal to a by 2. Now with this detail we can put here as uh, a b distance is small a. So a a dash is a small a. A is a a dash divided by small a is cos 30 degrees. Now a a dash may be written as a into a into root 3 by 2. So, this happens to be the same value also for the O, O dash normal. A, A dash we have calculated and this is equal to O, O dash. So, this we can keep it as equation number B, small b. Okay, now from the figure we, we can find an another detail that is A, A dash normal and O, O dash intercept, intersect at the point 
uh, x. Now distance a x may be written as two third the length of a a dash since it is a geometrical figure and that happens to be a x is equal to two third the length of a a dash. So a x may be written as two third the length of a a dash. a a dash we have already written as a root three by two. So that will be simplified as a a by root three. So a x is equal to a by root three. Say this is equation C. Okay. Now uh, coming back to the figure, here you can find a b o we have taken and we have measured all these a x a a dash o o dash r is equal to a by two. All this information we have captured. Now considering the entire dimension of the HCP structure, say the entire length of the unit cell is uh, C and uh, three atoms are placed at the middle which is at a distance of C by 2. The entire length is C and half of this distance is C by 2. The entire length is C, half of this is C by 2. Now, the middle layer atom, one of the middle layer atoms, say point C, center of that atom is C is considered. A normal drawn from the center of that atom comes and hits the point X. So I put it here, this figure we can find, this is the, all these A, B, O are at the ground floor. The first floor atom or middle layer atom C is considered and its center point when it is projected downwards comes and gives the point X. This height is C by 2. This height is C by 2 and this AX value we have calculated. Now considering the points A and C, considering the points A and C, I put the figure here. Say this is uh, atom A and the point A is here and uh, atom C. say which is happens to be a middle layer atom point C. From A to C distance is 2R is equal to small a lattice constant and uh, the normal drawn to the or projection from the point uh, C comes and fits the point X. So all these A, X and C creates the right angle triangle. And this a x distance we have calculated as a by root 3 and this is a this distance is small a and this is a c by 2 this is c by 2 this is point x okay now this is the right angle triangle that we are talking about this is a point x and this is a c and this is a, a. okay now assuming that this uh, x c or c by 2 height is not known then this is a known value a and this is a by root 3 okay so we can find c x c x uh, by taking this hypotenuse is squared a square minus this side a c square minus a x square gives c x square so c x square is equal to a square minus this side square a x square a square by 3 so that is uh, leading to 3 a square minus a square by 3 so 2 a square by 3 that is c x square to find c x root 2 into a by root 3 so that is c x say this is our equation number d and uh, we have said that this is a uh, equal to c by 2 this uh, c x distance is c by 2. So, this whatever we have found as equation number d is equal to c by 2. Our interest is to find the c by a ratio. So, what I do, I take c and a alone in one side. c by a is equal to c by a is to be calculated. c by a. So C by A I have taken A say A C A is here, C is here. C by A is equal to root two into two divided by three root three. So square root of eight by three and the value comes to one point six three three. So C by A ratio is calculated from this.
and uh, we are about to use this uh, information for finding packing fraction. Okay, I am presuming for the packing fraction. Packing fraction. Packing fraction uh, is obtained by volume of the atoms inside the unit cell divided by the volume of the unit cell, capital V. So, in this case, the, there are some six atoms inside the unit cell. Here, uh, you could see one and a half atoms at the floor level. Similarly, at the top also one and a half atoms. Middle layer, some three atoms. So, put together six atoms. So, six into four by three by R Q divided by volume of the unit cell. The volume of the unit cell is obtained by half B H into six into C. That is half B H is the area of one triangle. Say I am shading a portion here. Say this is a area of one triangle. Similarly, there are some six triangles here. Connecting each atom center towards the center of the atom center, it creates six triangles. So half B H into six and the base area multiplied with the height of the unit cell C that gives the volume of the unit cell. Okay. Now this B base is uh, already we have seen that base is A B. Say this is base. That is A small A lattice constant. This height height H O O dash that also we have already calculated O O dash A root 3 by 2. So I use all this information in the packing factor formula. 6 uh, into 4 divided by 3 into 3.14 into R cube. Instead of R cube, I can use as A by 2 is R. So A cube by 8. The rest of the things also I am substituting. 1 by 2 into B. This uh, base area, this uh, length is small a and height is a uh, a, A dash or O, O dash is the height. That is A by root 3. A, sorry, A into root 3 by 2 into 8. So, you can see here, it is now left out with these uh, terms. That is A cube and uh, A, A. So, here denominator A square, it is A cube. So, there many things are A. And in the denominator, well, C is left out. So, rest of them are simply numerical uh, values. And uh, when I simplified the equation, say 2 and uh, here the yes, 2 and uh, 2 get simplified here as 4. Then these 2 and other 2 will go to the numerator. So, I write the remaining things 2 into 4 into 3. Into this uh, two into two into a root three root three into four. Then yes, c is here. So what I do? Uh, this uh, a by c may be written as c by a in the denominator. Rest of them are simply numerical values. So packing factor, packing factor C by A. So in the C by A, I will be substituting 1.63 that is uh, calculated earlier. It was calculated earlier as yes, 1.633. Okay. Now putting all these numerical values, we uh, have to work out. So 2 into 2, 4. So the packing factor comes to 74 percentage for a hexagonal close batch structure. Okay, thanks for watching.